Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today we have a very special review impressions of a knife I've had in my collection for a while now. This is a knife that came in from Eutectic. Uh, it's a, a, a budget line uh, of Leon Ma. And Leon Ma, who makes some fantastic knives, I have his GSD version 2, which is Get Stuff Done. I'm, that's the version I'm calling it. The real name is something different. I can't say it. I don't want to get the channel demonetized, but um, but it's a cool knife. I like that knife. It has Space Coral. Fantastic knife. Really high-end knife. This is his budget line, and I was thoroughly impressed. Let's get into this. Leon Ma design. It is made by, I believe this is a Riot budget line, if I'm not mistaken. I don't recall if it was somebody else, but I'm pretty sure it's a Riot budget knife, which is really cool. Um, the the It is black G10 textured. Now, if you can see that, it's really nicely textured. It's got just enough grip. Nicely chamfered all the way around. Deep pocket carry clip. It is a steel clip, but the, it is in, inserted into the G10, and it's reversible, so lefties rejoice. It can be left, le, uh, left hand... Right hand tip up, left hand tip up carry, so that's really nice. The screws aren't recessed, but there's plenty of room to clear, and it does go in and out of the pocket nicely. This clip is perfect, comes up just enough loop, gets over and gets under, and works really well. It's got nice flexibility. Uh, this is one of those unique budget design knives that you get that has like just some budget, some, some extra goodness with it, okay? Now, I will say it's a captive pivot, which is great. That's a, T, a T8 right there. Those are both T6s back here, which is kind of a bummer, but at this budget price for everything you get and the quality of what you get here, I'm not complaining, okay? T6s, you know, yeah, I would love to have T8s, sure. Maybe in the future, if it doesn't change anything, maybe we could do a T8, that would be that would be super awesome. I'd love to have that. But I'm pretty pretty satisfied with this. So, real quick, we got beautiful sh uh, chamfering, uh, jimping, sorry, chimping on the flipper, which works really nicely. We've got a top flipper here, front flipper, whatever you want to call it, works really well. Got beautiful uh, jimping on here as well. And then we've got this fuller, you know, thumb hole, fuller hole, whatever you call it. To me, it almost looks like a fuller because I can go down like that, but it is a thumb hole. You can get your thumb in there as well. So whatever you want to call it, it's fine. Nicely dead centered. This is 14C28 blade steel. I did put skiffs on this, makes it really nice, by the way. Uh, you don't need it. You absolutely don't need it. But let's go ahead and flick this open. Really nicely, beautiful finger choil, which makes this a really nice high grip. So if you have extra large, double, triple extra large hands, you can use this knife. It's a, it is both really well for, works really well for large hands, but even for my hand, it works great. So I have large hands. I got plenty of room down here. I can choke up, really cut. This is really well. It's got the finger choil, so I can do choke up. I can come up, do a pinch grip. That works really, really well. So I do like that. That's really, really nice, right? So nicely rounded, nicely rounded, no sharp edges anywhere. This is not super sharp in here. Plenty of room to get into it. Comes to a nice thin edge, almost a full flat grind. 14C28 blade steel, which is just phenomenal. Really great budget steel. With G10, it has a steel liner on this side. On this side, it's G10, but that steel liner, because it is a liner lock, right? You got a liner lock, fully engaged, about 30%. No blade rock in there, nice and solid. No pivot lash goes in there. Let's listen to D10. I mean, yeah, D10 ball clicks in really nice. Let's do that again. Nice and clicky. There we go, in. Works really well, reverse flicking. And then you drop that right there, it goes down. Thumb works really well, right? And you got the, the flipper, works really well. And notice the flipper, it's just a little bit above the center point of axis, so you get some good leverage on that, works really well. And then you have this beautiful top flipper, you can actually get over it. You gotta make sure you use your clipper. Now, this is where smaller hands make it a little more challenging, and bigger hands will enjoy this more. So if you have larger hands, this is one of those top flippers I think is really more advantageous for bigger hands. I got little hands, so that's okay. But I can, now, let's see, I was doing it before. Uh, come on. I was doing, yeah, well, I, I was doing it before. It's been a while. I hadn't carried this for a while because I've been carrying a bunch of other knives, but I wanted to finish up the review on this knife. It's just such a great knife. It does work really well. Yeah, there we go. See, I was doing it before, and I just got to remember how I got up there. That's how it was. Yeah, okay. So I just get up there and tight because my hands. So it works really, okay. I'm not, I promise you, it worked really well. I'm looking like an idiot. I... Golly, I feel like an idiot all of a sudden. Yeah, but it works really well. Uh, I can tell you this top flipper, I really like. It works really nicely. So, and the but to me, you know, I really enjoy the fuller, the thumb hole. That works really nice. And oops, get in there. 
helps to get your finger, not block it with your hand. And then the flipper, really, really nice. Beautiful, big belly uh, blade. That was my little piece of paper that fell, so sorry about that paper noise. Um, nice, thick, robust kind of blade, has a nice pokey tip, great for getting into you know dog food, cat food, mulch, uh, fertilizer, you know cases of water, getting in your boxes, Amazon boxes, Christmas boxes, right? Uh, all those different things. Liner locks, nice cutout to it, very good access, got a little jimping on there, works really great, so the hand's not gonna slide off. This is very comfortable to get into. This little flipper part right here, it does catch your hand. The, the detent ball, you're not gonna do a double clutch, it clears the detent right there. And then it's beautiful action, just drops right down. Do you see that? So once you clear that, just beautiful action. Nice, it's not guillotine, it's a nice controlled drop. I like that, I like that a lot. This is a really nice, um, aesthetic and functionality and action you get for a budget knife. I normally expect this in a much higher end knife and that to me is what makes this stand out. Some people are like, ah, it's 85 bucks, that's too much. Blah, blah. I get it, if it's not for you, don't, don't get it, don't get it. I respect your opinion, you buy what you like, but I can tell you if you think this is in interesting, if you think it's, you know, doesn't look ugly, you like the idea of all the different deployments, you like the size, I'm telling you, the action, the way it works, the functionality, it's executed really, really well for a budget knife. It is, it feels like a high-end knife in a budget kind of look, but it really does feel like a much higher-end knife. It, it feels like what you would expect from Leon Ma and his designs. That's, that's what I really enjoy. And so this has not been a disappointing knife at all. It's not at all. It's really been a lot of fun to carry, to use, and to have. And for me, this is absolutely probably going to be one of those hard-use knives for me. And I don't know, maybe it'll be a giveaway at some point, but I really like this knife. I don't want to give it away, right? So, but I really like this knife a lot. I think it's fantastic. But, you know, you know me. I Unless it's a collection piece, it's a my, my, my knife. I have a hard time... When it's this price, this is the perfect price for giveaways. And I don't have unlimited budget, and I don't have you know thousands and thousands of subscribers. I mean, I have 3,500 amazing subscribers already at the time of this video, and I appreciate you guys. But I can tell you that um, you know this is one of those budget realms and knives that would be a perfect giveaway. So at some point, the I probably expect this would be a giveaway, though I like this knife a lot, and I would really like to keep it. Um, but just because I like my channel members too much, and I want you guys to have something amazing, and I think this is amazing. I, I'm, this would be one of those I'd be really excited to give away, right? Because it's a knife that I would like to keep. So I do, rec I, I, I do like that. I like that a lot. So very good. Everything on here works really well. Chamfered all the way around. The G10 works well. Um, nice uh, 14C28. 14C28 and blade steel, you'll like that. So that is all of that. Frame lock works really well. So let's get into the weight a little bit. Let's measure this guy. All right, let's see. What, what are we looking at the overall length? The overall length is three and a half, three and a half ounces, 3.5 ounces, which is not bad at all. That's a pretty good price, uh, pretty good price, pretty good, pretty good weight for a for a knife. All right, so let's see, what are the ratios? I bet they're really outstanding. So look at the overall length. This knife is about eight and a half inches long. It is on the larger end for sure. Definitely on the larger end. That's why I have a little trouble doing the front flipper, but I think for larger hands, you're gonna love it. This works really well for larger hands. And so, all right, sorry about that. Um, Got a phone call, interrupted the, the the review here. So we were at eight and a quarter inches overall length. Um, and then the overall handle length, we're looking at four and a quarter inches. And then if you go to the finger troll, you're about five and a quarter inches, which is for a very large hand. So definitely a lot of room for your hands. Overall cutting length, we go from the tip to the very back. You're looking about three and three quarter inches. Overall cutting length, we're about three and a quarter inches. So lots of lots of uh, large knife and ability to cut and use the knife, which I think for larger hands, you're gonna really, really enjoy. I think that's great. All right, let's go ahead and look at the overall blade stock thickness on this knife. All right, so overall blade stock thickness, we're looking at 127, 100, yeah, 127 thousandths of an inch, so 0.127 inches. Not bad, about the average, but you know, a pretty robust, but not super thin blade stock thickness for a larger knife. Definitely very useful. It's very light, three and a half inches, and we're right at the ratios, right? So the ratios are really good if you go from the tip to there. Uh, really outstanding. I think that's that's really wonderful. Is this an EDC use? Oh, oh, let's sorry, we did the weights. So where does this fall? Budget. This is absolutely a budget knife. This is $85. If you got this during Christmas, I think he had like 20% off, which 
that would have been the time to get one. But uh, uh, $85 is still a fantastic deal. I, I, th I think for $85 for what you're getting, how well it's executed, all the different deployments, how well the action works on this, how well the access works, how well the, the quality of a good budget seal with the G10 executed well, beautifully chamfered all the way around, just a lot of the little touches that you don't normally get in a budget knife, beautiful access, all this stuff. 85 bucks is, is, a, good, is a good deal. I really don't think, I don't think that's anything to be disappointed in at all. I think that's, I don't think that's overpriced. And now some of you are gonna disagree, that's absolutely fine. I 100% disagree with you. And we're gonna to have to agree to disagree. And you know, I, I'm telling you why I think this is of the value. You, if you don't agree with that, don't buy it. Don't buy it. But for those of you guys who are looking and say, man, that's kind of interesting. I'm telling you why I think it's a fantastic deal. 14C28, G10, um, black G10, beautifully textured, and perfectly nice grip, a nice clip that's just really well got coming up build, work, not sharp, comfortable in hand, no hot spots. Everything on this knife, it feels like a high-end knife in a budget, in a budget package. And it acts like a, a high-end knife with budget materials, which which I find very pleasing and pleasurable. So I'm just telling you, that's my, my my thoughts and feeling on that, I think. So it's an absolute budget banger, right? Is it EDC? Absolutely 100% EDC. I think this is one of those EDC, that's EDC, EDC, super EDC. Absolutely. Hard use? Yeah. I mean, it's a liner lock. So just realize, you're not going to be chopping wood. You're not going to be, you know, banging on things with this. You're not going to be using it as an axe. But can this be hard use for an EDC? Absolutely. I think so. Absolutely. The liner lock in here, it's a pretty good thickness of the steel. I think that's really outstanding. And I think that'll work well. So wonderful. Is it a collection piece? I, you know, like me, I, I don't think any budget lines are collection pieces. This is definitely not going to be a collection piece. You can make anything a collection piece. You absolutely can. If you want to make it a collection piece, make it a collection piece. But I don't think this is it. It's a budget knife. It's meant to be used. It's a hard use knife. It's what it is. And I think this is one of those. And I think you'd be very pleased with it. So the design, handling, the jimping, the thumb studs, the um, thumb hole, the clip, and all that stuff that it talks about. Yes, everything works well together. I've talked about it. I'll just summarize again. Chamfered all the way around. Very comfortable. No hot spots. Clip works really well. Very functional clip. Um, you got a great grip presentation. You can choke up a very functional finger choil that works. Nice jimping that can really functional. You can do pinch grip. The 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 thumb hole, the fuller hole right there, beautiful. Works very functionally. You can get your finger in there. You can do the finger down like that, or you can actually get your full finger in there into the hole. Gets you a nice deployment, both thumb and uh, middle finger. Reverse flick works well. The, the flipper is above the center axis point of the, the pivot. Gets beautiful. You can do the push button. You can do the kind of a light switch. Works really well. This top flipper works really great. Better for larger hands, longer fingers for sure. I got, I got large hands, but I got short stubby fingers, right? And I got meaty fingers. So to me, this is more, you know, uh, I think if you have longer fingers, you're, you're gonna enjoy that. And if you have like extra large, double extra large hands, you're gonna enjoy that. But I very much enjoy everything else. And I'll tell you what, even for being a little bit larger, this is easy to get to and it works really, really nicely. And I will tell you, if my fingers were a little bit longer, I could easily do, well, see, I just did it. I could easily do that very comfortably all the time. It would be a fun thing. Uh, see, now I'm having trouble. Here, let's see, can we do it again? Come on. This is where this is where my having short little fingers is always a pain. Ah, I can't do it. I can't do it. My fingers are tired. It's, it's too much. Ah, I wish these were longer. Yeah, well, you know, if you guys got longer, you know you'll enjoy that. So, yeah, definitely a, a, a bang of a deal. Okay, so opening and closing. I love it. I love it. Look at this. It's such a control drop. Really beautiful control drop. Now, yeah, I did put skiffs in there, so, you know, that didn't hurt, right? Skiffs never hurt a knife like that. I think it's just beautiful, and I think you would definitely enjoy that. So, there you go. All right. Um, as far as fidget factor, <laughs> this one, I mean, come on. Okay, let me even show you this. You see this right there? It's a flat grind right there. Watch this. Ready? Ready? Wait, hold on. Hold on I was doing it before. Come on. There you go. Reverse flick. Yeah, my hands are a little dry. Once they're not dry and I can get a little traction on there, it works beautifully. And guess what? Works really well backwards. So you have bonus flick. We have flipper. We have top flipper. We have kind of a front flipper. We have a reach around. We have a fuller thumb hole. And very well done where you can do the finger, the thumb hole, the meat of the finger, the longer the finger. You got the bonus flick. 
I mean, this is one of these knives that gets up in there. It's close to a 10 as far as fidgety goodness. And, I mean, sorry, fidget factor. And I, I quite honestly, I'm at a 9.5 minimally. I might call this a 10 as far as fidget factor. You're putting almost everything in here that you could as far as fidget factor. I, I'm not sure what else you could add unless you did the bonus, you know, some of the newer technology where they're doing the, the frame lock is in here with a button and stuff. But some of that stuff has to be, you know, you, you can't get too crazy because to make that work well, you just you can't do too many things, right? You gotta you gotta stick with what what your main goal for that knife is. But this is like a ten. Uh, it's it's a nine five. I'm gonna round up to a ten for sure. So this I'm gonna call this a ten as far as the fidget factor. Now as far as fidgety goodness, if I scaled it just for myself for my hands, it would probably be a ninety five. It'd be an A, a solid A, right? Absolutely solid A. But if I consider that this is a larger knife for larger hands and someone who had maybe longer fingers. Um, I think this would be a hundred. I really do. It is executed so well for a budget knife. And that's what really blows me away as a budget knife. I like that. I like that a lot. And, and I'm digging it. You know, may not be for you. It may not be your cup of tea. You may think $85 is too much. You may, oh, I can go get a, you know, CJRB. Yeah, CJRB is great. It's a fantastic knife. I love CJRBs. I have one. I think it's a fantastic, there's so many good knives out there. But this just has something that CJRB and other knives don't have. And I like it. And for me, that makes this very special. And that's why it's, is it recommended? Absolutely 100% recommended. Very highly recommended. It's going to be my recommended knives, recommended budget knives. I am going to put it into the recommended knives overall. Absolutely. I think it's just fantastic. So there you go. You know, I'd love to hear your comments. If you agree to disagree, please comment down below. Let me know. Um, love to hear any questions about the channel. Let me know as well. Hey, if you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, entertaining, or informative, would you please consider hitting the like button down below? I sure would appreciate it. If you've already hit that like button, would you please consider hitting the subscribe button as well? Subscribing and liking the videos really helps out the channel. I sure do appreciate it. Allows the channel to grow, allows me to do more things, ultimately allows me to do more things for you guys. So thank you. Thank you to all of you guys who consider subscribing and liking the videos and, and also just watching the videos. I really appreciate you guys. Um, if you haven't already, check me out, uh, hit that, sorry, if you haven't already, hit the uh, notification button as well down below so you can be notified of future content. And to all my channel members, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you guys. You guys make this possible and uh, I just want to say thank you. You know, if you're on the edge and you're thinking, hey, maybe I'd like to be a channel member, I have three different, tier three different tiers, check out the description down below. There'll be linked to channel membership. Would love to have you. Not a requirement, just would love to have you. And as a channel member, just to say thank you, because some of you guys have been channel members since the channel first got monetized and, and grew. I, I, I just want to say thank you. I, there's a once a month giveaway for all my channel members coming up and we'll have the uh, January giveaway coming up. Depending on when you saw this video, if it's a really old video, well then, you know, that already happened, but every month there'll be a, a giveaway for the channel members. And then there'll also be, you know, exclusive content, early release content. You get a sticker, especially if any of you guys just became channel members, make sure you email me, get your sticker. And then if you're an Uber nerd, you know, the super channel member, you get a special sticker, even better than that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you to you guys. And then finally, if you haven't already, maybe check me out over on Instagram at Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at Rob's underscore nerdy underscore nine on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.